um welcome uh, so let's talk about gui versus cli in debian so the summary of the session is going to be first we'll talk about introduction then what is gui then what is cli and then what they really both mean to us and the key differences between them and uh, let's have a recap about the session uh, an operating system is nothing but a uh, interface between the user and the hardware it basically provides GUI and CLI to the user to interact with the uh, system hardware. Some operating systems only provide with uh, CLI. So what is GUI? What is a graphical user interface? Uh, so it's the interface that most of us be, would be using on the daily basis. So what would define a GUI? So it's like uh, the buttons and the colors and the clicks dragging and dropping uh, like when we click our home button it will take us to activities and we can see uh, firefox window and LibreOffice and all sorts of icons in, in here so all these icons also can be defined as uh, gui and navigating through different folders with the mouse pointer so it can also be defined as gui uh, command line interface is really different from GUI. Uh, in command line interface, the user enters the command and presses enter to execute the command. In this way, he, the user can interact with the device uh, and the user have to have the correct knowledge of syntax to give effect to commands. And in this way, the command line is one of the most powerful tools we have at our disposal. So let's talk about uh, benefits of GUI over CLI. Graphical user interface is more user friendly. Like you can go around, you can click on buttons and you can click on different icons and you, you can uh, navigate around. We have different options in GUI. Like if you open LibreOffice, there are like n number of options to choose and to go with and it is really customizable so you can choose different uh, environments for your distribution or your operating system and you can customize it the way you want it i mean you can change the colors and icons and everything it is really easy to learn so any beginner can use an operating system with gui they don't need to know the commands and stuff they just can click around and they can go to the folder they wish to. Now let's talk about uh, the advantages of CLI over GUI. CLI is faster than GUI. Uh, it doesn't need much graphics and everything like GUI needs to display your colors and icons. All you need is a keyboard and a, a terminal to type your commands in. Uh, the only limitation would be how fast you can type else you you can do uh, uh, anything with your terminal it takes less than a second to type and execute a command like you can type ls to list all the files in your directory and you can list them on your terminal uh, instead of going to a, a folder and clicking on the folder opening it and see and listing everything Let's say, uh, for example, you have 10 folders on your desktop and you want to know the permissions and of the folders and when they are modified. With the GUI, it is going to be a really hard task, like clicking on them, click, going to properties and uh, looking at like when they are modified and what are the, the permissions. But with CLI, you can just type a command like ls-ltr and it shows like uh, when the files are modified and what are the permi what are the user permissions does the file have and it is really efficient than gui i'm coming to drawbacks of gui navigating through different icons and folders makes gui really slow and it is resource hungry so it needs ram cpu and sometimes it needs gpu to run GUI applications and handle complex tasks like CLI can do. 
each uh, GU has its own uh, design and structure and sometimes it breaks the backward compatibility and sometimes it creates distractions with those graphics and multimedia from your tasks you'd be less productive than what you are in command line interface and the drawbacks for CLI is you would need time and patience to learn command line interface uh, like you have to type commands in terminal which might be difficult for beginners but it really eases your task and to conclude this the main difference between graphical user interface and command line interface is that the way it enables the user to interact with the system uh, GUI is considered as more friendly and while CLI is more advanced and powerful the command line interface really saves your time thank you everyone and please post your questions in irc Yeah, hi. Uh, so we got a few questions. If I'm coding in say Python, what would be the thing I should be using to make GUI and build applications in the game? Yeah, so as G G U says that we can use many different GUI libraries in Debian, uh, like GTK, Qt. There are different libraries. Do you think we should develop more GUI that is uh, Debian related work? Will Debian code has been faster, especially regarding packets and stuff? Uh, yeah, like if uh, like uh, more people are coming to Linux, uh, so uh, for beginners, the GUI would be really easy to get into, then they can. Uh, you start using CLI like the, uh, they you know the power of CLI once they you know get familiar with it. So the yeah, GUI would be uh, uh, basically like in, with the initial step for do uh, the beginners.
there are many Python toolkits which one to use. Uh, it depends on what your use case is like. It depends like what you really want to do. So you can check out those and you can see like what uh, would be uh, suitable for your use case and you can use the toolkit. Yeah. Uh, it is a controversy. NoSQL is the best solution for some use cases or graphics are too heavy. CLI is fun. Now it is a company. CLA is the best solution for some use cases as well. Another question. I'm thinking about packaging LY at your command line you can display manager. Where is the right place and also that it would be stored? Is there a CLI team? Um yeah, there is a you can do that. Mm, uh, there is one
so there's a package in uh, debian uh, i can check it out or somebody i will do that question i'm thinking about packaging or why if you are commanding you can manage it where is the right place and also that it could be stored so there are several like um yeah okay. there is a we can do it. Live streaming is on. So how many of y'all use uh, CLI in your day-to-day uh, -day tasks? Live streaming is on. Okay. So yeah, thanks for uh, thanks everyone for joining. So let's wrap up the session. So how many of y'all use uh, CLI in your day-to-day uh, -day tasks? Live streaming is on. Mm -hmm. 